Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everybody. Today we got Jungle. We're in the shop here at Zone Bowling, Coquitlam in British Columbia. And today I'm gonna go over the four different conditions and I'm gonna list three of my favorite balls from the Storm brands for each condition. First up, we got the house shot, right? Probably 95 to 99% of the bowlers, that's what they bowl on. A house shot, just your typical pattern with a lot of oil in the middle, not much oil on the outside, a lot of room for forgiveness, a lot of high scores. For that reason, you're gonna need balls that are not too jumpy off the back end. You're gonna need balls with a little bit more control because balls that jump a little bit too hard off the back, it's just gonna be too sensitive to those dry boards to the right, all right? So Jungle's first ball for house condition, the Attention Star S2. Now this is an asymmetrical hybrid. This comes sanded at 2000. So it's gonna be really smooth, really predictable off that spot, but this ball has a lot of teeth. This ball's gonna hook a ton, and it's gonna really be able to handle a lot of wool in the middle, right? So if I'm bowling on a house pattern, I'm definitely bringing the Attention Star S2. It's gonna give me a lot of room for forgiveness left and right, and it's gonna be able to handle that fresh oil, 28 or 25 mils of oil uh, that we lay down here. All right, next in the list, for your typical house shot from Jungle here is the Summit Ascent, right? This is gonna be a step down from the Attention Star S2. It's a symmetrical solid, right? So it's gonna get down the lane a little bit easier than the Attention Star, retain its energy a little bit more, and still be very continuous and but smooth off that spot because of the solid cover stock. And the Summit Core really does like to roll a little bit forward off the spot at the back end. This ball is really gonna smooth out that over under condition left and right, you know, not that much oil on the outside, a lot of oil in the middle. It's really gonna smooth that out and really give you a lot of room for error if the Attention Star S2 is hooking a little bit too much for me. Now third and definitely not least is the Ion Pro. Usually this Ion Pro is the first ball out of my bag no matter where I go. It gives me a great read on the lanes and it comes sanded at 4,000. Right, so I know I could have a few balls that are stronger than the Ion and a few balls that are weaker. So the Ion Pro gives me a really good read on the lanes. And because it's asymmetric and it's a hybrid, comes sounded at 4,000, it really does give you that smooth, continuous shape. And that's exactly what you're looking for on a, on a house pattern, right? You wanna smooth out those dry boards to the right. Give yourself lots of room for error, right? Who doesn't like striking a lot on house shot? That's how you do it, smooth, continuous bowling balls with a little bit of surface. And as you can tell the theme of these three balls for my house shot, they're all sanded. None of them are polished. We got 2000 grit on the tank, the attention star, and then we got 4000 on the summit ascent and 4000 on the ion pro. If you're having trouble on a house shot and your balls are pretty shiny, take it to the shop, sand it down. Hopefully that'll help out, smooth out the reaction a little bit, give you a little bit more room for error. All right, next on the list, we got long pattern. Now, usually long patterns are 43 feet and longer, and these require a different set of bowling balls. Uh, usually longer patterns, uh, they're gonna be challenge or sport compliant. You really don't really see a long house shot these days, right? It's more challenge or sport, which means a little bit more challenging as well. So for me, I'm gonna start with the Excel, right? This ball comes at 2000 grit, hooks a ton. All right, this ball handles a ton of oil, and I think it's just absolutely great to start on a long pattern on the fresh oil with something like an Excel, right? Got a really big core, really big engine, a dull surface at 2000, and that ball really picks up in the oil and finishes through the pins in the back end. And I think that is one of the best balls on the market for a long pattern. If I know I'm bowling on long, I'm bringing the Excel with me. So one step down from the Excel, as we know longer patterns, right? These patterns have pretty much the same amount of oil but on a longer pattern, that's spread over a longer distance. So the oil itself is gonna be a little bit thinner throughout the lane. So we're gonna see breakdown of the oil pattern a little bit quicker. And because of that, we're gonna have to get into our pearls a little bit faster, our shiny balls. So next on my list is the Harsh Reality Pearl, right? This ball has a very big engine as well. That core is huge, that core is powerful, but it's wrapped around a pearlized cover stock with Reacta Gloss. And I really like this ball when the lanes start to transition on long, just because that big core gets that ball started up a little bit earlier than the symmetrical pearls. And it's able to still bite in the back end and have that nice continuous motion with that pearlized cover stock. So a high-end asymmetrical pearl right after the Excel, I think that's a great one-two punch on a longer condition. 
And then right after that is the Attention Star, the OG Attention Star, super popular bowling ball. And I think right after the harsh reality, the Attention Star comes into play because this ball is a little bit longer and a little bit sharper off the spot. So the lanes need to be a little bit more burnt up for this ball to look good or else it's just really too sharp on the fresh conditions. So really needs to have the lanes be worn out a little bit, have a little bit of wear, have a little bit of uh, front oil being pushed down to the back end before this ball really looks good. So I think those are three really good balls for long oil conditions. And if I know I'm bowling on long, I'm bringing those three for sure, 100%. One side note, the Attention Star also comes React Gloss. So we got one really dull ball at 2000 and then two really shiny balls with React Gloss coming right after that because you're gonna be moving into the middle of the lane, into the middle of the pattern, and you really need that ball to corner hard down lane. Okay, next we got medium oil. So for me, this is like 38 feet to 42 feet, kind of in that happy zone there. And I think this is where most of the patterns, a challenge sport, house shot, most of the patterns are within these lengths. So it's really important that you get the right ball motion for these kind of patterns. And for me, it's kind of balls in the middle of the, of the bag for me. What I'm gonna start with on the fresh is probably gonna be the Ion Max, right? I love the Ion Pro for house conditions. The Ion Max just has a little bit more teeth, a little bit more cover stock. It just rolls a little bit earlier. And on these tougher medium conditions, you really need that ball to roll early, be very continuous, but not hook so much in the back end that it's uncontrollable. So for me on the fresh conditions, a medium pattern, challenge shot, I'm gonna start out with my Ion Max and go from there. Uh, next on the list for a medium condition was gonna be the Optimum Idle, right? We got a symmetrical solid. This ball fits right in the middle of the bag. It's like a benchmark type ball and absolutely great on medium conditions. I think on the fresh, it might be a little bit too angular. And that's where the Ion Max comes in. But after the Ion Max starts rolling a little early, then I might ball down to the Optimum Idle. The GOAT line, in my opinion, the Idle line is just the GOAT line. Right after the Optimum Idle, I think I'm gonna go right down to the Phase AI on a medium condition. As you can see in some of my other videos, this ball is the earliest symmetrical pearl I've ever thrown. And because of that, I think it can be used a little bit earlier in the block. You don't have to wait till the lanes are totally toasted up to use this ball. And I think right after the optimum idle on a medium condition, this ball is gonna look absolutely fantastic. Maybe like game three, four of league or three, four, five of a tournament, right? You know, all the dull balls have been soaking up the oil for the first couple games. You gotta start moving your feet to the left. And that's where the optimum idle and the phase AI come in. So medium conditions, Ion Max comes at 2000 grit. The Optimum Idle also comes at 2000 grit. So we're using surface to slow that ball down, you know, get that nice smooth continuous reaction in the back end. And then we got the Phase AI with Power Edge, right? So this ball is for definitely after the first two and you know, but it's earlier than the other symmetrical pearls. So I think those three balls on a medium condition, hard to go wrong with that. Next up, we got short oil pattern, okay? So these patterns are usually 35 to 38 feet in length. A lot of dry boards at the end of the pattern to deal with. A normal reactive ball is just gonna hook off the lane immediately on the fresh. So we're gonna have to combat that with a urethane ball. My favorite one, IQ78U. It hooks a little bit less than the pitch black, which is good for me. I can really slow my speed down and have that ball roll off my hand and not worry about it over hooking. IQ78U comes at 500 grit, absolutely perfect for playing the outside line, right up the ditch, right up five, whatever it takes to battle that short pattern on the fresh. Once all the urethane balls have been going down the lane, a little bit of oil is starting to carry down. Now we can get into our reactive balls. On a short pattern, you really want balls that roll really early and really tumbly. So next on the list for me is the harsh reality, solid. And for me, I'm gonna trick a layout a little bit on this one. I'm gonna go a little bit shorter pin so that ball really picks up earlier, gets into a roll and kind of loses its energy as fast as possible because we don't want that ball hooking off the pattern sharp at all. We want really controllable shapes and really controllable bowling balls on a shorter pattern. So for me, harsh reality solid with a shorter pin, maybe like three and a half inch pin to pat. That's gonna come right after the urethane and we're still gonna play straighter lines up the outside. You know, a stronger cover stock, the reactive cover stock's gonna help battle that carry down. Next up, we got the phase two. When you really have to move your feet left and bend that ball off the ditch, 
You know, you really need a ball that's got some really continuous back end motion, but still controllable. So I'm gonna go with the phase two as my third ball in a short pattern. This ball has been in the lineup for a hundred years. There's a reason for that, right? This ball is just very predictable, very smooth rolling and somewhat continuous down lane. So you can really move your feet left, throw that ball up to the dry boards and it's not gonna overreact like a asymmetrical pearl would, right? If you go way to the opposite end, right? That asymmetrical pearl is just gonna hit the dry board, it's gonna take off, it's gonna be really hard to control, really hard to hit the pocket, and that's just not what we want. Short will, controllable bowling balls, short pin to paps, and then later in the day when you gotta move your feet left and get that ball to the gutter still and have that ball come back, but not so violent, I'm going with the phase two. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. And last but not least, a bonus ball for me. Number 13 is gonna be the Road Warrior. This ball has surprised me so much. I never really threw the high roads, never really threw uh, the road, never threw any of those balls really, but the Road Warrior, this ball's different. This ball gets down the lane super easy and corners nice and hard. So when the lanes are toasted up, I've been going straight to the Road Warrior. Get yourself a Road Warrior. If you're bowling on dried up burnt conditions or really high friction surfaces, you will not be disappointed. All right, that's a wrap here for Jungle. I hope you enjoyed this video. We got 12 storm balls, three for each pattern and a bonus ball. And don't forget our promo code at shop.boofabowling.com. Jungle Barks, 10% off your order at checkout. If you don't have a bowling ball for one of these patterns, you're gonna wanna start bowling some tournaments. You know, you gotta order a few balls and get yourself set up. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next video.